Are you experiencing lower chronic back pain as you're walking or standing for too long? So you may have a sway back posture with your hips forward and there's pressure in the lower back. Or you may also have lordotic posture where the lower back is arched and you feel the discomfort in your lower back. And like many people who may be hunching, there's not enough core strength to support your spine. So all these can contribute to the back pain. Now, I'm going to share with you three Pilates mat work exercises that you can practice at home that will help you to strengthen from within. So if you're ready, let's come down to the mat. Now, let's sit on top of the mat. We're going to practice the half roll back. Keeping the knees and feet hip distance apart, hands under the knees is the modified version. So inhale in neutral as we exhale slowly round up lower back, shifting the weight to the back to sit bone, going into the C curve, chin not jamming towards the throat, breathe deeply into the lower back. As we exhale, maintain C curve, return and slowly come back to the neutral position. So just want to remind everybody not to collapse, okay? As we roll back, you want to avoid this or squeezing your shoulders. Okay, make sure there's space in your lower back, okay? We're going to articulate the spine as we roll back. Let's try one more time. Inhale. As we exhale, slowly rounding the lower back. We go into our C curve. Gently gazing towards the knees. You want to go lower, just walk your hands closer to your hips. Take a deep breath into a lower back. As we exhale, maintain C curve, return. And the last part, we're going to slowly lengthen and come back to our neutral spine. Inhale deeply. And as we exhale, hands in front. Inhale and exhale slowly, roll back. Going to our C curve, do not flatten the back. Take a deep breath into the lower back. As we exhale, maintain the C curve and slowly coming back, shoulders over the hips. We slowly roll up back to neutral position. Make sure we're not rolling the shoulders forward. Inhale, exhale, slowly rounding the lower back, rounding the mid back. Go into our C curve and breathe into our lower back. As we exhale, contract the six-pack muscles, maintain C-curve, coming back and slowly lengthening, stacking each vertebra on top of each other. And inhale, exhale, slowly relax the arms. Let's slowly lie down on the mat. Next, we're going to practice the hip roll, keeping the knees and feet hip distance apart. Alright, so we're going to come back in the neutral spinal alignment. As we exhale, rounding the lower back and slowly peel the spine off the mat. So we'll come to this position where the knees and shoulders straight line. The hands are gently supporting. Maintain a straight line. As we exhale, slowly release the spine down, really stretching the spine. And make sure the knees are not squeezing. And relax the buttocks, relax the hip flexor. Inhale in neutral, exhale, going to imprint, rounding a lower back. Peel the spine off the mat. Gently place the palms on your buttock just to maintain that straight line. And as we exhale, palms down, slowly release the spine down. One vertebra at a time. Coming back to neutral, relaxing buttock, relax your hip flexor. Relax the shoulders and avoid just pushing the hips up, okay, stressing your back. And neither do you want to arch your back in this position, okay. You want to make sure you're well supported and learn how to engage your deep core muscles. You want to stretch the hip flexors properly, okay. So palms down here and slowly exhale, release the spine down gently and comfortably. Now let's try one more time, hands beside the hips. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, imprint and peel the spine off the mat to the straight line. Knees to shoulders, one straight line. Take a deep breath and as we exhale, release down. Four, three, two, one. Relax the buttock, relax the hip flexor. And from here, slowly bring the knees towards our chest. Gently roll the head sideways, release any tension in the neck or shoulders. And we're also releasing the lower back. Release all the tension. Coming back to our breath, we slowly rock the pelvis clockwise, anti-clockwise, massaging the lower back. 
Breathing, breathing. And for this last exercise, we're going to practice the date bark but modified version. So right knee up 90 degrees. When you're ready, left knee up, knees and feet hip distance apart. So they're not touching each other. Make sure the lower back kissing the mat. Alright, so you want to not stress your lower back. When you're ready, one hand up, the other hand up, shoulders away from the ears. Let's start with the legs. So as we exhale, slowly extend your right knee. We're going to keep the legs in this position, not too low, bending the knee. And exhale, left knee, extend, reaching the toes away from the hips, back to center. And this time, as we exhale, as we extend the right leg, the left arm will also be lowering down. And come back, inhale. As we exhale, opposite arms and legs. And slowly coming back, lower back kissing the mat. And as we exhale, opposite arm and leg. Lengthening, lengthening. And inhale, return. And as we exhale, opposite arm and leg. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Stabilizing the trunk. And slowly return. Now you want to avoid this, dropping the legs too low. Most of you may be arching your back and stressing a lower back again. So you want to just keep it this position and you want to avoid the hand going too low much lower than the leg so what we want here is to balance the hands and legs so from here extend opposite arm and leg and slowly return with control with the breath and as we exhale extend opposite arm and leg stretch 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 and coming back breathing exhale extend Reaching away with control, back to center, inhale, exhale, opposite arm and leg, and make sure the lower back kissing the mat, inhale, coming back, palms down, and as we exhale, lower one foot down, and lower the other foot down, never drop both legs down at the same time, and extend your legs, and bring the arms up overhead, and stretch through your fingers and your heels, stretch, 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 Exhale, release the hands, bring the knees towards the chest, hug your legs and gently rock the body sideways, massaging the back. We want to just come back to our breath and slowly roll to the side. Now, I hope you're feeling much better. Okay, it's so easy to just practice okay just just three exercises it helps a lot of course we have a full class if you wish to join me if you like me to assess your movement you can click on the link below there is a program that i could help you to really solve your root problem so i hope that you enjoy today's practice as i've been trying to share with you you know simple exercise if you do it regularly it really helps a lot now, if you have more time, I'd like you to join me in the next practice, next tutorial that might help you to release tension and strengthen from within. So, I wish you a great day and I hope to see you the next time. Have a great practice.